Excited and nervous. Uh, we have a wild series and it takes a lot of bold risks. I know um, with the success of the Suicide Squad, there's a lot of buzz behind Peacemaker. And man, we really did, did have a lot of fun uh, shooting it and I really just hope everybody likes it. Peacemaker is such a definable personality. Uh, you take the, the, the 20 to 25 personalities that were showcased during the Suicide Squad, and, and Peacemaker is among those names uh, that stand out. I'm most excited for people to see the series and get to know some characters that really end up being awesome. One thing about Peacemaker is if you are a member of his crew, he, I don't, he'll never say the, uh, the love word, but he shows it in different ways, and eagerly, I think, is his equal, is his half, is his, not his sidekick, it's not a mascot. Eagly is Peacemaker's best friend. Uh, you know, I was working like a nine to five dead end job before all this started, so no is the answer. <laughs> I mean, that makes it even so much cooler because I love this stuff. Be able to jump into a whole new set of circumstances with a new set of rules with some new coaches and some great co-workers is pretty incredible. And, and to have some buzz around it is even more incredible because I know how hard it is to get people to be interested in, in the entertainment we put out there. So I'm, I'm, no, I never would have foreseen it, but that doesn't mean at all that I don't give my absolute everything to it. And I don't, I certainly hope everybody enjoys it. When Polka Dot Man explains why he has his polka dots, and David Desmalchian is just incredible, and I really enjoyed that. I think there'll be talked about moments from every episode, and I have mine. I just can't wait for audiences to tune into HBO Max and pick theirs. I think it really is that type of series that after every episode, people will argue with what their favorite moment was. That's false. Villains are bad people, and I keep the peace, and eliminate bad people. So if villains were heroes, I wouldn't have a job. I'm a fucking hero. Being peacemaker, I figure with uh, the powers of my helmet and the advances in modern medicine, I'm never gonna die. That's right, get used to it, because I'm immortal. And you'll be gone, but I'll be here, still fucking rocking out. You didn't say Aquaman or Peacemaker. Uh, Aquaman can do some cool stuff underwater, everybody knows that. John Cena? The guy's fucking invisible. Nobody can see him. So how can you attack him? Even if you had like a 20,000 leagues under the sea match at a WWE pay-per-view, thinking that Aquaman would have home field advantage, John Cena's fucking invisible. Enough said. That depends on your search history. If you're a fetish group one way, Peacemaker's helmet. If you're a fetish group the other way, Catwoman's mask. It's just a matter of what they're spying on and what you're searching for. How dare you? How dare you? If you think Peacemaker is a villain, you are fucked up. Like honestly, you have a flipped, fucked up view of society and human life as a whole. Peacemaker should have a parade every morning when he gets up for breakfast. Should have a 21 gun salute. And Eagly should have his own Pope mobile where he's walled in by bulletproof glass and he can just wing at people. That sounds like, can we orchestrate that? We, do, we don't have that in the budget? No, nope, that's not gonna happen. Okay, Peacemaker's a hero. There seems to be a lot of truth out there on the internet. And according to the internet, John Cena's invisible. So uh, according to anyone not on the internet, I'm here, physically tangible to touch. But as soon as I invade that screen in your phone, it's like, why are you taking a picture with no one? Or like, whoa, why is that coffee cup just in midair? So I think while I'm in the matrix, I have mastered the part of being unseen. And here in real life, or is it? I'm tangible. I hurt just like everyone else, especially on the inside. 
thank you to all the CCXP fans. I want to say thank you to all the Brazilian fans that embrace Peacemaker and are really flocking to HBO Max to watch Peacemaker. Listen, uh, CCXP is an event that I've had on my bucket list and I've never been able to go. The only way I'll be able to go and intermingle with all the wonderful fans in Brazil is if you guys watch this show. So please, if you don't do it for Peacemaker, do it for Eagley.